The vetting of a commissioner of a nominee for the National Lands Commission has brought out yet again signs of a rot at the Kenya Revenue Authority. Former Isiolo woman representative Tia Galgalo did not remit taxes in 2017 and 2018 and received a clearance certificate, but the KRA commissioner now says she has been she has, I should say, unresolved tax compliance issues. As she grapples uh, with the taxman uh, and that situation, Ken Mijungu reports that taxman cleared uh, Gashom Otachi and declared him tax clean, meaning he's almost assured of becoming the next NLC chairperson. The Apex seat at the National Lands Commission is likely to be filled soon after the chairperson nominee jumped a significant hurdle Gashum Otachi's candidature has been strengthened by the admission from the Kenya Revenue Authority on his tax compliance status. Because I have stated my facts as a year. The Lands Committee had cast doubt on his tax clearance Thursday and demanded the Commissioner General appears to explain the discrepancies. For Commissioner General to appear before the committee. Then it was the former Isiolo women representative Tia Galgalo's turn to appear before the committee to convince them why her nomination for commissioner should be approved. Her tax compliance was in question after the Kenya Revenue Authority Commissioner General told the National Assembly's Land Committee that he had unresolved tax compliance issues. There, were returned, there, were, uh, there was an amended return that was filed yesterday and we need to validate it. The tax collector said Galgalo, who had been cleared, failed nil returns in 2017 and 2018, only to later declare 8 million shillings earning from the Parliamentary Service Commission and 3 million shillings from her county. I think what really uh, put me on in, 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 in this kind of situation is because I, I had a certificate issued to me in 2018. For sure, no issue a race at that particular time and for me I knew that I was waiting for this uh, certificate to expire in November and then so that I'll be able to do that. We have not validated the correctness of that information. Uh -huh. We need to go back to the records of the county government. Okay. We need to go back to the records of the Parliamentary Service Commission. We also need to see whether there was any other income because it's not just employment income. Kenya Revenue Authority has now commenced an internal investigation to establish how a clearance certificate was issued to the former legislator, a document that Galgalo used to make the application for the job. Habi Hussein and Alistair Murimi also appeared before the committee. If all the nominees are approved, the president will formally appoint them for a non-renewable term of six years. Ken Mijungu, NTV.